Occasionally I find one of these tiny objects on the floor in my home. I assumed they were pieces of dirt from my shoe. I also found objects like this attached to the walls of my house and garage, and I assumed that they were from spiders or clumps of dust. One day I noticed that one of them was crawling around on the floor. It turned out to be a home for some type of larva. The larva had spun a web in the shape of a tube and then attached bits of dirt, hairs, lint, and whatever else it could find. At each end of this tube is an opening. The larva is hiding inside it and it can turn around inside and put its head out of either opening. The outside appears to be made of sand. Each of these tubular homes is slightly different because the larva attaches whatever particles are in the area at the time. So if one of them is in my garage, it might pick up some bits of sawdust or plastic. And when they're in the bathroom, they can pick up bits of hair and clothing fibers. When these creatures are crawling around on the floor, we must occasionally be stepping on them and squashing the larva. They have so many different particles of sand that you wonder where they are finding them. Do I have this much sand in my house? I haven't seen any creature creating these tubes so I don't know if the larva created it for itself or if there is some flying insect that created it and then laid an egg or larva inside of it. When you open up one of these tubes, you find that the inside is a layer of fine white silk. I will speed up this part of the video. I'm trying to be gentle as I open this one because the creature is still alive inside of it. Finally, you can see the creature inside of it. This particular tube was in my bathroom, so it has lots of my hairs. Actually, this one has so much hair that it's not easy to see the silk lining. If you have these creatures in your home, you might want to take a look at what they're covering their tubes with. I suppose in some houses they're using little granules of cocaine, and in other houses they might have particles from cosmetics and people who have animals or children might have the most variety of all. We could have a television mystery show in which the clues to the murder come from the particles that these little creatures have put on their tubular homes. Perhaps a DNA analysis of the hairs would show that the victim was in the person's bathroom, thereby solving the murder. Here is a tube that came from a different area of my house, and there is no hair in it. It has a smooth, soft lining of white silk. Centuries ago, somebody noticed that a particular caterpillar cocoon can provide us with silk threads, but what about the fibers in this cocoon? Do these have any value? Have all the different types of silk been analyzed already? Or are there still a lot that are a mystery to us? Here is one of the creatures after I pulled it out of its tube. They seem to want to crawl up walls and then they remain on the wall for a while in their cocoon and transform into some type of flying insect. 
Then they crawl out, and the empty shell remains on the wall. I haven't yet figured out what this larva turns into. They seem to be more common during springtime. At the moment, it's July 2012, and all I can find are some dead creatures clinging to the walls. At one end of each tube is what looks like an empty shell that the insect hatched from. If you carefully pull the shells out, you can see that they are in the shape of an insect. The long areas on the back look like wings, so I suppose the creature can fly.